Some parts of the Bay Area are under attack by an invasive vine. Our Jason Beisel shows you how the state is turning to Asian beetles to battle against this growing problem. Take a walk around Largo Central Park Nature Preserve and you will notice these heart-shaped leafy plants. Problem is, they don't belong here. But somebody uh, probably thought they were a good-looking vine um, when they went to Asia, brought them back here as well. The air potato vine is considered the most invasive species in Florida. Once it makes itself at home, it overtakes and kills native plants. Starts shading out the natives, fight, fights it for sunlight, uh, water, and nutrients. Since the air potato vine grows about 70 feet every summer, it doesn't take long for it to do its damage. Just take a look at what it's done here, where it's devoured everything in its sight, all the way from the ground up through the trees. We uh, use Roundup and they won't, it doesn't even yellow it. They sort of laugh that off. So the state's newest weapon? When you can see that they're already starting to uh, do damage to the air potato vine. The air potato leaf beetle. Uh, they chew holes in the leaves, damage the actual plant, and then they'll lay their eggs on the actual plant itself, and a whole new generation will hatch out and start chewing on the leaves again. On Tuesday, 300 beetles were released around Largo. It's part of the state's plan to combat the air potato vine infestation. So far this year, 30,000 beetles have been released across the state. At Largo Central Park Nature Preserve, the beetles are already getting to work. None of these leaves had holes in them uh, last night or yesterday when we put these out. The beetles may be helping now, but the problem may be never ending. As the vines go down and the beetles go up, um, it'll probably balance out. It will never be done with either one. Jason Beisel, ABC Action News.